e fez. Hey folks, welcome to another Print and Paint Kickstarter countdown. I have 12 campaigns to share with you this week, so let's get started. Ragnarok 28mm White Metal Norse Fantasy Miniatures by Colin Patton of the United Kingdom, their first Kickstarter. Durger, the evil opposites of true dwarves, this range is based on the Norse mythos, incorporating elements of Wagner's ring cycle. These uniquely styled dwarves include all the troops you need to form a mighty war party of pikes, berserkers, and bows, surely enough to trample those pesky Ein Herjar. Expect them, as well as Dark Elves, Giants, and more in future releases. You can get any of the sets pictured here, as well as a number of mixed war parties. This campaign ends on April 9th, with rewards expected by October. Heroes of the Realm Supportless 3D printable heroes by Arbiter Miniatures of Denmark their third Kickstarter campaign. Here we have 53 quality minis designed to be printed without supports on FDM or SLA printers. There are many classes and races represented here. Barbarians, clerics, druids, daemonkin, dwarfs, monks, halflings, necromancers, and many more, most including female options. There are also images of every single one printed on both FDM and SLA printers if you want to see how they look. You can get the full set, this set plus previous sets, and there are merchant licenses available for both of those options. This campaign ends on March 31st with rewards expected in May. Out of this world, unique 3D printed miniatures designed and created by Rebelworks and Raccoon Games of Germany, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set has a wide range of sci-fi and fantasy models for you to paint, all of them pre-printed and available in two of four possible sizes. There are several grim styled sculptures, notably this fantastic ferryman with blue transparent river of souls, and there are several more light-hearted ones, like the owl rider and panda gunner. The tiers are based on the size of the model you'd like, and there are a few painted minis up for grabs as well. This campaign ends on March 14th, with rewards expected between July and September. The War in Christmas Village, a production run of previous campaigns for their dark holiday-themed RPG rule set by Jackalope of the United States, their sixth Kickstarter campaign. Here, you can pick up some boxed sets of their previously successful Kickstarter campaigns. There are Mistletoe Misfits, everyone's favorite, the Gingerbread Gang, and even one new sculpt, the Abominable Snowman, as a stretch goal add-on. You can get from 1 to 5 box sets, or the whole set, and there is also a retail tier. This campaign ends on March 27th, with rewards expected in October. Heroes of Zuntalis, Diceheads Animal Adventurers, Bases, Terrain, and RPG Modules from Andrew Polly of the United Kingdom. This is the fourth Diceheads Miniature Kickstarter campaign. This set contains 58 adventurers, mounted riders, villains, and monsters. There is quite a wide variety of models here in Diceheads' unique style, and the bases, tiles, and terrain all look to be of equally high quality. There are some nice ones in the stretch goals and previous campaigns available as add-ons. You can get the whole set, the whole set plus previous sets, and there are merchant licenses available for both of these options as well. This campaign ends on April 1st, with rewards expected the same month. Airship Campaigns Printed 5th edition rule supplement and printable minis to go with it by Arcane Minis of Canada, their second Kickstarter campaign. Welcome to the Skies of Sordain, a fleshed out world full of creatures, lore, and of course, airships. There are 70 models to pit your players against, 
and over 150 pages of content to immerse them in. There are quite a few more detailed images of the minis on the page that you can check out as well. You can get the models with or without printed or PDF rules, which you can also get individually. This campaign ends on April 1st, with rewards expected in December. SOS Escape, printable Wego de Mesa board game by Angel Linares of Spain, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is a 3D printable zombie escape game. There are multiple scenarios, including the police station, hospital, schools, sewer, and more. One player plays the zombies, and up to four other players oppose him. You can get the printable game and PDF rules, and you can also sign up for future expansions. This campaign ends on April 17th, with rewards expected by May. Metal Skies, Epic Space Strategy and Combat on a Miniature Scale by Very Good Board Games of the United States, their first Kickstarter campaign. Think Risk, in space, but with greater strategic depth, and much nicer minis to play with. Each team has four fighters, three bombers, a destroyer, and a battleship, some of which carry mines and nukes. It comes with two and four player maps, and all the tokens, cards, and dice needed to play the game. One pledge gets you everything. This campaign ends on April 2nd, with rewards expected in December. Industrial Zone 53, 28mm Sci-Fi Industrial Buildings and Vehicles by Culverin Models of the United Kingdom, their 8th Kickstarter campaign. This set includes a selection of nice sci-fi scenery, including the Goliath Walking Crane, cargo drones, a monorail, train platform, buildings, scatter terrain, and more. You can get the whole set digitally, or printed in PLA, you can get just the Goliath Walking Crane, or enough terrain to fill a 2x2, 4x4, or 6x4 gaming table. This campaign ends on March 29th, with digital rewards expected in May, and physical in December. WoW Buildings Relives Kelly's Heroes, 3D printable scenery based on the World War II film, from WoW Buildings of the United Kingdom, their 19th Kickstarter campaign. Recently returned from the Alamo, WoW Buildings has more buildings to wow you with, this time based on the town of Vizinada, where the 1970 film Kelly's Heroes was shot. They started with the town center shown in the storyline, and added 10 more buildings from the outskirts of the city, half of them in ruins. There are too many images to show you them all, so you'll have to check them out there if you want to see more. You can get the city center, that plus the outskirts, pick up a previous campaign, and there are also merchant licenses. You can also get the city center pre-printed in 15, 20, or 28mm scale. This campaign ends on April 4th, with rewards expected the same month. The Dwarf Chiefs, resin and white metal busts and figures by Dolmen Miniatures of Spain, their fourth Kickstarter. This Tolkien-inspired set includes 1 10th scale busts, as well as 55 and 75 mm figures. There are two versions each, one helmed and one not, of a bust and a boar-mounted figure, which also includes two weapon options. You can get the figures in either size, or the busts in the one size. You can also get both options of either, or both options of both, with the figures in 54 or 75. This campaign ends on March 24th, with rewards expected the same month. Court of the Lich, a set of strange and terrifying monsters for you to print, paint, and pit your players against, by Dev Genesis of the United States, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes a lich in his throne, 
and his two royal guard, as well as three fiery skulls. One pledge gets you everything. This campaign ends on March 20th, with rewards expected in April. That's all for this week. Make sure you check out my latest Patreon preview video for more things you can print and paint, and I'll see you next time.